Hi guys, in this video, part one of the cutscene tutorial, we'll take a look at uh, opening up a cutscene basically, uh, adding an area to a cutscene. Uh, we'll take a look at the viewports, which I'll explain later, the timeline, and we'll look at adding cameras. Uh, it's split into parts because there's quite a lot to go through, so I thought I'd just split it down to easy sections. So we'll get going now. So we want to open a cutscene. To do this, we'll click on File New like we've done for other things, and if we scroll down and click on cutscene and we can name something here, so uh, we'll name it video tutorial and I'll come back to this file when we uh, do part 2 and I'll click OK and these two boxes come up, these are known as viewports which is where you view the cutscene from you can also view through a camera, what the camera is seeing so they, they come in quite in handy and I'll ex uh, show this in use in a minute down here on the left you have uh, the different objects that are placed into your world. So eventually you'll have your characters there, objects, uh, cameras and stuff like that. And by adding stuff to the objects such as uh, just say an animation, the animation would appear on the timeline. And this timeline is uh, where all the numbers are written. These are frames per second. So these aren't seconds, they're frames per second. And uh, they'll appear there. So if you've ever used uh, Windows Movie Maker, you know when you add a file or like a video file to the maker, it comes up on a bar. Well, that's what will happen in the tool set when you add an animation or a piece of dialogue. That's what will come up. So now we've covered that a little bit. We'll, uh, if we left click in the user box here, the object inspector will come up. And if you scroll down where it says area, you can select an area by clicking on those three dots. And it comes up with all these folders. Uh, if you double click in Party Camp, that's the one I'm using at the moment, click on Camp Planes and click OK, it will load up. And it might look like it's not loaded up properly because it's still blank. But if you left click in this left box here, and you hold control button down as well as left click in you can drag yourself along and if you use the rollerball you can zoom out so hold down control left click to drag use the rollerball to zoom in and out if you hold down the middle of the rollerball as well you can tilt left and right up and down etc so that's how you uh, sort of move around in the cutscene so we've loaded up area now and uh, we want to add a camera there's a camera already spawned at the beginning of the level so if I click on that a sec, ah, I don't know why you can't see it here. If I go up to here and right click on the top of the box and go to camera, camera 1, that's what camera 1 is viewing it at that precise moment. So obviously I don't want to be there because there's not much to record underneath the map. So if you use the WASD keys and uh, use the middle mouse button, hold it down to pan, I can uh, just sort of move the camera back into the map and hopefully find the way back to the camp. There we go. There we go. And the camera's appeared here look, on the left. So that's important. There's another thing as well. There's the master camera. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this does. It basically just sort of grounds all of the other cameras, I think. You use it to um, switch between cameras, which we'll come to in the second part of the tutorial. Um, and it also affects the textures, I believe, uh, depending on how close it is to the cutscene. Now at the moment, that master camera, uh, I think is at the beginning of the beginning of the map. Somewhere down here, I think. Or maybe it's at the other end. Just one minute, here it is. You see that glowing area? That's the master camera. I'll just click on it there. If I've clicked on it, I don't think I have. Nope, I'll zoom in a bit. There we go, clicked on it. I'll put Z to 80 at the moment because I want it to come up above my map. There we go. So I can click and drag it to the center now. A little glowing light, like a UFO going over the map there. Right. Now I've got it above the campsite. In one second, there we go. I can set it back to zero so it zooms down and uh, yeah that should be alright where it is 
should be somewhere under there. So now that's done, I'll show you how to add another camera. Because obviously you want different viewpoints, make it more dynamic. Uh, if you right click, click insert and camera. Where, where my mouse is uh, viewing um, is the camera. So you left click to place. You can move it around using this. Or if you uh, right click on the top of this window again and click on camera 2, camera 2 will appear. And you can uh, move it around and all sorts of crazy stuff like that. Uh, I'll just quickly show you actually how to switch between cameras. So just say you want uh, camera 1 to be on there first. Right? So active camera, camera 1, that's already set for me. But 100 uh, frames per second down the line, I want to switch to camera 2. To do that, I'll right click on where it says active, click on add action, switch camera. And on the right here in the object inspector, I'll click camera 2. Okay? So I've switched between the cameras here. Now to view this, what you would actually see in the cutscene, if you right click and click on active camera, that pans down to the the camera that's active when you play the cutscene. And up here, these these uh, crazy little buttons here that actually play the cutscene. So if I click play, it will stay on camera one there. Switch to camera two there. You see? So that's how you switch to cameras uh, when you're actually doing the cutscene. So that's part one out of the way. In our part two, we'll look at adding creatures, panning cameras, uh, and all sorts of other exciting things like that. So I hope this video was useful. Um, please subscribe. Many thanks to those that have and those that have commented on my uh, YouTube page and on the forums. Uh, I'm very grateful. Um, there's some more videos on the way. So stay tuned and have fun with the tool set.